Hi guys, I am in a different location. I'm in a hotel room, but I have not left town. My husband and I are doing a staycation, so that's where we are and I came on to show my outfit. Um, I The overhead lighting right above this awesome mirror is terrible. So I'm standing in the bathroom using the lighting here and I'm zoomed in so hopefully you can see everything. I'll probably switch between this and the bathroom mirror so you can see everything. So I'll show you my I'll show you my earring last in the bathroom mirror. But this dress that I'm wearing that I absolutely love is from ASOS and I don't remember the brand but I'll put it down below. But I love this. It's got this working pocket. I just think that's so cool. Very, very comfortable dress, cotton material. The pocket is made out of satin. And then on my feet, I'm wearing these boots that I have showcased before. These are my Tory Burch, I believe they're the Carlotta or Cor Corlina booty. I don't remember. I'll put it down, but it's got the translucent lucite heel. I will get you a shot from the top. These are the booties. I've shown them before. I still love them. They are bomb.com and very comfortable. Okay, so now I'm in using the bathroom mirror so I can show, hopefully this, I stay in shot. This is the ear cuff. This is from Jenny Bird, who is a Canadian jeweler. And this thing is one of the most comfortable earrings in existence. It's very lightweight and I just think it's very cool. And then in my other ear, I'm just wearing one half of another pair of mismatched earrings that I really love from one of my favorite jewelry designers I've talked about before called Betsy and Aya. And now I will grab my coat and my bag. Okay, I'm just gonna give everybody a moment to appreciate the insanity and the wonderment that is this jacket. I mean, I just don't, <laughs> I love this thing so much. This is a leather and real shearling, amazing coat from Diesel that there are no words for how much I love this coat. It is one of my favorites. It is incredible. I got this last season. Let me just get in closer. It's so amazing. The shearling is incredibly soft. Look at that. I love this coat. And I'm gonna button it up so you can see what it looks like um, all done up at the neck. So this is it all done up. Well, I, I'm being too lazy to zip it and button it up. There are buttons here on the sides too. Is that showing up? Yeah. So you could really just cocoon yourself in this coat, but I love this dramatic neckline. Oh God, I just love this coat. I love the zippers on the sleeves. They are working zippers. I tend to wear them partially open. I don't know what is happening with this camera lighting, but anyway, so this is the coat that I'm wearing and you can see my bag. I'm carrying my Gucci Marmont bag in the fuchsia, the velvet, and that is it. That is the outfit. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys. It is towards the end of the day and I've been out and about uh, working, had some lunch with the husband, errands as usual, and uh, I just wanted to come on and show my outfit. It's actually pretty simple, but I really like it. So on my ears, I'll get in close. On my ears, I'm wearing these stud earrings. Let's see if I can get in closer. See those? They are so beautiful. These are studs from one of my favorite designers called Grayling Jewelry. And Katie is brilliant. And I think she called, she ended up calling this color, was it Dragon's Eye? Mm. I don't remember, but I will link them down below. I love these. They're so comfortable. I have another pair in a, like a pewter silver. Um, I think she uses Swarovski crystals. 
very, very comfortable. Love these. And I'm not wearing any necklaces or bracelets or anything. And then this dress, this dress is from Target. This is from the Who What Wear line. It's this wrap effect satin dress with a tie. And, um, and it has a snap detail um, in the chest. And I'll come in closer. Um, I, for whatever reason, prefer the tie in the front. And I could see myself switching this uh, the belt that the dress came with for um, one of the other waist belts in my closet. But today I just felt like wearing this and I really love it. This dress is very, very comfortable. One of the things I really love about this is this lace detail, the sheer lace detail in the shoulder. It is really, really pretty. I love this sheer lace panel in the sleeves and the lace hemming. Would you call this hemming if it's not at the bottom of the dress? Lace lining of the V-neck. I just think this dress is really, really pretty. And it's a midi length dress. So great. And here is a snap detail. So you could unsnap it if you wanted to, but the world is not ready for this to be unsnapped. <laughs> and then I'm just wearing some opaque black tights that are super comfortable. These are actually also from Target, these tights. And they're from the, um, the what is that? The... A New Day. Yes, the A New Day line at Target. Oh, one thing about this dress, I just noticed, has slits on the side, on both sides. I usually don't like slits in the sides of my dresses, but I really like the way this was done. I just think this is such a great dress. And then I'm wearing shoes, shoes that I have freaked out about before. These are my, these are my Tory Burch ankle boots in the gold embroidery that I I mean, there are no words. I absolutely love them. So I will grab, let me grab the coat and the bag that I was wearing with this outfit. I'll be right back. Okay, so to me, this is one of the most amazing coats ever made. I would argue to the death about that. I love this coat. I love how giant it is. I love this single ginormous pocket on one side. I love the breast pocket on the other side. I love this gray color. Let's see if I can get in closer. This gray color, which means that this coat goes with everything. I love the single button detail, the single silver button. Love it. I, this, look at this. Uh, the lacing on the sleeves, and this is actually on both sleeves. I mean, oh gosh, it's just amazing. And then the back, let me see, I have to figure out a way to show you the back because the back is out of control. One second. Okay, so I think you can make that out. This is the back. It's so hard being your own videographer. Do you see this cinching cummerbund band situation that's going on in the back of this. I freaking love this. See, it goes, it's a band that's just stitched from one side to the other. So it's uh, you can put your hand all the way through and it cinches the waist in a little bit. It's kind of, it kind of jokingly cinches in the waist because the thing is so oversized, but it does give a little bit of um, shape to the coat. I freaking love this. There is this coat, the design is just amazing. Today I am carrying the boy and it is the black lambskin leather with the ruthenium hardware. It does not bother me that I am wearing a bag with silver hardware with gold boots and I believe my earrings are gold hardware. I think they are. Yep, doesn't bother me. I like metal mixing so I, and I like the vibe of this bag with the outfit. So that is it. The sunglasses I was wearing for the 10 minutes of sun that we had were the Acne Library sunglasses and the tortoise shell. I'm still wearing those. And that is it for the outfit. So I hope everybody had a good day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, it's the end of the day and I thought that I would come on and show you what I was wearing before I rip it all off. <laughs> so for my earrings, let me get in a little closer. 
For my earrings, I'm wearing these amazing yellow tassel earrings. I can't remember right now where they're from, but I will try to figure that out and I will either link it down below or put it below. I got them locally, but I will try to see if I can figure out where and see if they're on available online. They are so incredibly lightweight. I really, really love these earrings. And then my top is this shimmery blue, it's like a midnight blue um, sweater from the Balmain for H&M collection. And I love the shoulder pads and I love these gold buttons on the right shoulder. I love the fact that there are no buttons on the left shoulder. I just love that asymmetry, you know me and asymmetry. And look at this blue shimmer. Oh, it's so, I love this. I love this. I seem to be sniffling a lot. I think it's because I'm tired. Um, I get congested when I'm tired. Anyway, on the bottom I'm wearing pants that we've all seen before. These are my Mary Meyer drop crotch pants. I really need to start wearing different pants, but everything else is either too cold or too small or denim and I can't wear denim to work. So anyway, I love these pants, very comfortable. And then I've already talked about these boots. I love these boots. These are my Tory Burch. Um, I really should look up the name. Coralina, Coralina, Carolina. I do not recall right now. So anyway, that is the outfit. Um, the code is right there. Let me just grab it real quick. You've seen it before. It's the, um, the acne dupe from Urban Outfitters, but I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like with the rest of this outfit. And here is the outfit with the coat. I have gotten so much wear out of this coat already and I haven't even had this for very long. I'll just move this light out of the way. It is just so beautiful and it is it has the perfect amount of warmth. So that is it. Hope everybody's having a good day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is very early on a Friday morning and I am off to work. Uh, and I have plans after work and so that's why I'm wearing real people clothes so I wanted to come on and share an outfit I'm not wearing any jewelry or anything no earrings no necklace um, and then on top I'm wearing this really cool retro inspired sweater from Urban Outfitters it's from their BDG line this sweater is at least a year I think it's over a year old I think I've had it for over a year and I just love it I love the thick chunky knit and I love these buttons I love the um, you know there were, I remember buttons back in the day of this style uh, made of leather this is a plastic button but I just really I, I love that detail and I love how big the collar is such a cool sweater under that I'm just wearing my dress from Target the um, it's from the Massimo line, the column dress that is just very comfortable. Then I have the dress cinched at the waist with this really awesome wolf belt. It's a brown leather belt with this amazing wolf. I love this belt so much. This belt is from Matisse. They're the same line that, if you watched my shoe haul video, the same line that made my boots with the really huge buckles on them. I'll post a picture um, if you don't remember. Matisse is a fairly new company to me, but I really like what they put out. I just think this belt is really cool. So yes, I just have the dress cinched at the waist. Then because it's freaking cold and I think it's only going to get up to 48 or something obscene, I'm wearing leggings and there's nothing special about them except they are the most comfortable leggings I have ever worn in my entire life. They are really, really soft. They're by a brand called Always. Um, my friend gave them to me. She gave me two pairs uh, because she swore by them and she bought a bunch in bulk and they were like $2 a piece or something. And so she gave me a couple. And these are the reasons that I started wearing leggings. They're high-waisted and for some reason, they fit her, who is maybe 5'2", and 
maybe 105 on a good day. And me, who is not either of those things, they fit so nicely. I think, I mean, they just have a lot of stretch, but they are so, so comfortable. I love these leggings. And then on my feet, these boots are from Born. These are the most comfortable boots, and they're not just comfortable for a heel. They are just straight up some of the most comfortable boots I've ever worn in my entire life. This is what they look like. I love this band across the top of the, the foot. I like the heel height. It's just a really beautiful boot. It's unbelievably comfortable. And then let me just grab my coat. My coat is this amazing kind of wooly teddy bear material pea coat that I got from Target a very long time ago. See that? It's teddy bear texture. I used to joke that a lot of teddy bears died for the making of this coat. <laughs> and it is extremely warm. And I've had it for maybe 15 years. Where I think about where I was living, it, was at, it has to have been at least 15 years. A long time. And I got it while I was at Target looking for something else. I think a birthday present or something. And as I was walking to the register, I saw this beauty. And I went and looked at it. And it was on clearance for $10. This is one of the best scores of my entire fashion life. $10. And I will never get rid of it. I have always loved wearing it. I wear it every year. And I have noticed that the teddy bear coat is trending this season, which is so funny because I've had this for so long. It's interesting how trends come and go, right? There's this beautiful Max Mara coat. It's much longer and it's a lighter um, color. It's really, really pretty. Something like, at least in the U.S., 3200 American dollars. Um, and this was 10. <laughs> I love this thing. So that's my outfit. I hope everybody's doing well and I hope everybody has a good rest of the day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, it's Dita. I am back to show you another outfit. It is the end of the day. It's Saturday and we just got back from a surprise birthday party for a friend. It was really fun, super casual. We went to an arcade, which is where we surprised him. And then we just went to a little restaurant. We had a little area of the restaurant reserved and his beautiful, awesome wife, uh, um, he doesn't like cake. Uh, so she just bought this stack of specialty donuts for him and we put 50 candles in it. Well, 52, if you include the five and the zero, it was his 50th birthday party. It was really fun. So anyway, my voice is down about an octave and a half because I'm getting tired and it's just going to get lower from here. So let me talk about the outfit before I sound completely froggish. So starting from the top, I'm just wearing this little choker from Forever 21. I've talked about this before. This is a gold one that I'm wearing today and for a top, I'm wearing this awesome sweater that I wore in my One Thing Five Ways video. And I kept saying it was from Italian, you know what it says on the tag? But the brand is actually R13. And I don't know what the Italian yarn business is about. But nevertheless, this sweater is fantastic. I love the distressing everywhere. Distressing on the chest. It's all distressed throughout the back. Distressing on the hem. It's a great, great sweater, and it's really soft and very comfortable. And then I'm wearing pants that I really need to stop wearing because I can't get over them. Then on my feet, I'm wearing these gorgeous booties. And I love the quilting, and they have this removable harness that um, is in gold hardware and leather, and then this gold trim along the toe. I just zoomed in a little closer so that you could get a little bit more of the detail. I love this chain here. I think it's so pretty. Hopefully you can get a good view of that. Let me tell you what though, I would never remove this harness. I would never wear this boot without the harness because 
because that is the only thing that is keeping me from flushing these joints down the toilet. They, so this is my first day wearing them. They're about, they are by Balmain, by the way. I just zoomed back in. They are supremely uncomfortable. They rubbed along the bottom of my feet and along the sides. And I'm hoping it's just because they are new and I need to wear them in because they are such pretty booties. I love them. But wow. And also getting them on and getting them off basically took an act of Congress. It is so hard. They're not, um, there's no zipper. So you unbuckle the harness or you can take it off and then you just have to, and then you just have to slide your foot in. They do have an elasticated area on the sides that stretches, but definitely not enough. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that with time that will soften and it will be easier to get these boots on and off. But just now when I tried to take them off, I almost considered calling one of my friends who's an orthopedic surgeon and just having her amputate my feet to just get the boots off. I, oh, they're so hard to get off anyway, but I love them. They're gorgeous. I'm going to continue to wear them. And I'm hoping that it's just because um, the leather just needs to be softened a bit more. I will keep you updated. This is a view of the boots from the top. And let's see if I can get a better view of that harness because it's my favorite. Look at that. That chain. It's so gorgeous. I love it. And I love the leather strap. And this is the bit that stretches to let your foot in. I love these. They're lucky they're pretty though because they hurt like a mo flicker. So anyway, that's the outfit. For coat, I wore my, I wore the, um, the Urban Outfitters coat, the, um, Avec la fille coat, that, and then my little um, velvet marmont bag in the fuchsia. Maybe I'll throw them on so you can see what everything looks like together. I'll be right back. So this is the entirety of the outfit with the coat and the bag added, and that is it. I hope everybody is having a great day, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Dita, back with another outfit. It is quite cold outside, so I am kind of bundled up today. Um, so let me just start from the top. Um, I just have my, I never really talk about my hair. I just have my hair up in a really messy bun. And then on my ears, I'm wearing these little burgundy studs that I've had for years. I feel like I got them from the Limited a long time ago. And I'm wearing this awesome burgundy sweatshirt with a um this really cool zipper pull i love this and a very oh let me see and a very furry hood soft soft furry hood from zara and i love the front pockets um i would put the hood up so i could show you but with my hair up i won't be able to do it i love this sweatshirt the only thing is that i wish that the sleeves came down longer and that they were tapered like a regular sweatshirt as, as opposed to open like a normal shirt. So I think I'm probably going to be, so I think I'm probably going to be wearing this scrunched up like this. I just think it looks better. I don't like this so much. I'm wearing this over actually a dress, a mock turtleneck dress that I've shown you guys before from Target and then some black tights. So on my feet, I've got combat boots on. I've been wanting to try this combat boot trend for a while now but nothing was really tickling my fancy until these these are from all saints and i love the buckle detail on the side here and that slanted zipper and i like this lug so i like the fact that this lug sole isn't too thick and chunky they are kind of difficult to put on but i think that is just the nature of combat boots you just really have to make sure the laces are loosened these also come with white laces so it's really cool. I don't, let me see if you can tell. Yeah, that you wrap the lace around the boot. Um, and so I think white laces, that contrast would be really cool. My husband was like, you should get metallic laces. And I was like, I love you. <laughs> let me see if I can get a good top view. So these are the boots from the top. 
I really love these and they are very comfortable. The leather is gorgeous, but it's all stained, so that is not surprising. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for a coat yet because it's gonna need to fit over this sweatshirt. Um, I'll figure it out. If I figure something cool out, then I'll come back and let you know. This is going to be the coat situation. It is this very long hound's tooth print. It's yellow and black and gray hound's tooth print double breasted coat that I got last year from Topshop that I absolutely love. It's one of my favorites in my wardrobe. And that is it. So I'm not sure what bag I'm gonna be carrying. It'll be a game day decision. Maybe Shani, but I don't know. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, it's Dita back with another outfit. It's been a while since I filmed an outfit because I've just been working so much and so I've just been in scrubs the whole time. But um, it's the weekend and I have the weekend off and um, so I am wearing real people clothes and wanted to share them with you. So let's start from the top. On my ears, I'm wearing these, my beloved brass dome earrings from Betsy and Aya. This is from her newest collection called the, Can the Canto Collection. This sweater is from Target. I love this sweater with the balloon sleeves and the stripe. And I love this color, this um, kind of beigey brown color. Love, love, love this sweater. And it's very, very soft. Target is... I got this sweater when I went in for... Oh, I went in to make a return. So, I mean, I, I, can't, I just can't be allowed to go into that store. Any hoodle. These pants are also from Target. This is... Is this Who What Wear or A New Day? I think this is part of the Who What Wear collection. And it's the... It's in this... Uh, Prince Wales check, Prince of Wales check print. That's been super popular. I love this button detail down the sides. I haven't even checked to see if you could unsnap it. Let me see. Oh my gosh, those are real snaps. I love these pants even more. And then my shoes, I these shoes are amazing. So I got these from a boutique called Odessa that I love so much. And I actually had a, um, a voucher that I got almost a year ago to the date that I'd just been hanging on to until something came in that I really loved. And these boots came in, came in, these boots came in and they're by LOQ. Um, and they're apparently a new design brand. Um, I've actually happened upon their site before and didn't realize that it was the same people who made these boots. Any hoodle, it's two girls who went to design school together and became really good friends and started up a line. And it's the LOQ is a combination of their two last names. And that's all I know about them. I have to um, research them, but these boots, I can't remember the name of the boots, but I will put them down below. But these boots are amazing. And I got mine in the patent leather this color is not called crema because crema is a darker brown which doesn't make any sense i can't remember what this color is called so i'll also put that down below i am worthless anyway i love these shoes as you can imagine because they're patent leather they're quite stiff and so i have my socks pulled up above my boots to cushion my shins as i'm breaking the boots in but i also kind of like i like the way this looks anyway so but look at this heel look at this block heel love how the heel comes out a little further than the boot itself. Uh, you can't really see it here. Let me show you. See what I mean here? See that heel, how the heel goes a bit further than the end of the boot itself? It is freaking amazing. I can't speak to their comfort yet because I've not worn them walking around outside, but they feel pretty good on my foot right now. So we'll see. So that is the outfit. I hope everybody is having a good day. It is the Huffster's birthday weekend, so we have some celebrating today and tomorrow. Very exciting. And hope everybody else has some fun plans, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. So this is the coat I'm wearing today. It's this long line 
drop shoulder oversized coat in navy blue from Paul Smith that I absolutely love. One of my absolute favorites. And that is it. I really like that the sleeves are very generous. So even the balloon sleeves of the sweater can fit very easily into the coat. So this is what the outfit looks like. I like the way this looks. So now I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, guys. It is Friday and very early in the morning. And I am here to share another outfit before heading off to work. I have plans afterwards to meet up with a friend, so that'll be nice. It's raining. I can hear it raining already. I think this is going to be a long winter. <laughs> I'm not ready for it. Anyway, so this is a really, really simple outfit. Not much going on at all except comfort. So on my ears, I'm just wearing these little drop pearl-esque earrings. They're just these little metal studs. I have no concept of where or when I got them. I've had them for a while, but I really like them. Really comfortable earrings. And then I'm wearing this sweater dress that I got from H&M last winter. So I've had this probably for about a year and I just love it. I remember I wore it a lot last winter when I got it, last fall winter when I got it. And um, it's just really comfortable. It's got this mock turtleneck and that's pretty it. like this kind of olive green color. It's really nice. Not much to say about it. And then some leggings from that Always brand. I think I talked about it earlier. My friend found them somewhere. They're like two bucks a piece or something like that. And she gave me a couple pairs and I, they're really comfortable and soft. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these boots that I actually haven't worn in a long time that I really love. These are my Fry boots, the Fry harness boots in black. And I just really, really love them. They are, I've had these for years. And when I first got them, I wore them like it was my job. And they're really comfortable and haven't really shown much in the sign of wear. This is what they look like from the top. With the square toe and the harness. And then for a coat, I'm wearing... Um, the shearling coat from Diesel. Let me go grab it real quick. So this is the coat that I'm wearing today. And it occurs to me that it's probably not the best coat to wear in the rain, but I do have my umbrella. So this is the coat that I want to wear. So I will just make it work. And that's it for the outfit. Hope everybody's having a good day and that you have fun things planned for the weekend if you have the weekend off. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Dita. I'm about to run out, and so I thought I would come on here real quick and show what I'm wearing before I do. I tried filming this just a couple of seconds ago, and I can't quite get the detail of the necklace, so I will do that last. So I'm wearing... This jacket that I've worn before in this um, in this ever popular Prince of Wales check print with green in it. I got this from Anthropology and I just absolutely love it. And then underneath I'm wearing a turtleneck sweater dress. This is from Target and it's long sleeve. You can see them poking through the sleeves of the blazer. And then I'm wearing some tights because it's cold. And then on my feet, I think in another video, I said that those Converse that I designed in San Francisco were my only pair of Converse, but that's because I forgot about these. I think I got these at Nordstrom Rack or something like that, but I'm wearing a pair of black leather Converse that have faux fur lining. I love these. And they are crazy comfortable. Here is a shot of them from the top. I just think they're really cool. And on my neck, I'm wearing this really cool necklace from a boutique called Switch here. And this is by an Israeli designer. Um, and I didn't get the name, but it's made of this slinky material. I don't know if you can tell, but it's this really cool wound coil and then a ceramic curved V. 
very, very lightweight, very cool and unique. So that is it for my outfit. I hope everybody's having a good day. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so... Well, this will go up after Thanksgiving, but hope everybody had a good one. And for those who don't celebrate, hope you had a good week. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Dita, and I'm here to share an outfit. We are nearing the end of November, which is crazy. And I actually, thinking back, don't think I filmed that many outfits. It's so funny. With the holidays, I thought that I would have a lot of outfits to share, but I really didn't. I spent a lot of time in my pajamas, which was not very exciting to film. So anyway, it is raining cats and dogs right now, and I've been out for most of the morning and much of the afternoon. So I think I'm in for the rest of the day. Um, but my dark outfit kind of reflects the weather out there, except for my shoes. So let's start from the top. So I'm top, I'm wearing this wool, I'm pretty sure it's wool, at least wool blend hat from Aritzia. I have some pins attached to it. They're best friend pins and it's macaroni and cheese. They basically just live here and I'll probably add some more to it as the winter goes on. And then for necklaces, I am wearing this cheapy little faux suede bow thing um, that clips in the back. I'm pretty sure I got this from Forever 21. And then this cute little bar necklace that I got a couple of days ago from a boutique in town that says, let it go. Can you see that? Well, trust me, it says, let it go. Letting things go is a concept that I am trying to actively practice in my life. So I saw this necklace and I thought it was a nice reminder of that. As my shirt, I'm wearing this three quarter length sleeve rock and roll-esque t-shirt from Zara. I just loved the graphic on this tee, on this t-shirt. Then on the bottom, I'm wearing these wide leg cropped culotte pants that zip in the front. I'm not sure who they're by. I'm pretty sure I got them from Perrigan Bing. Um, and then I'll, I'll have the brand down below. On my feet, I'm wearing these LOQ. Actually, it's not LOQ. I watched a video about them, and the designers actually do pronounce the name LOQ, L-O-Q. So these are their, oh, why can't I remember the name of the boots? Anyway, I'll have it down below, but they're these awesome patent leather boots, which are great for the rain. For my coat, I am wearing this houndstooth, very long overcoat from Topshop that I got last season, last year. I really like the colors of the houndstooth, the yellow and the blue and the gray. And then for my bag, I'm carrying one of my favorite bags, which is my YSL College bag, to which I have attached my now very beloved Rebecca Minkoff guitar strap. So that is it for my outfit. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will see you in the next one. Bye.